Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have another look at Quarto. And I had a question on my original Quarto video, how can we change the font? So we are here on the uh, Penguins. So this was the very first of the demonstration files. Um, and what we can do, jump up into our header here. And we just need to give it, if this is assuming that there is just a one font change, we want to change the main font for everything, then we can just set up an HTML option here and put in main font. And then we can choose our font. And so without getting into all of the technical details, we can put a font or a font family. Uh, and if we jump over to our uh, Mozilla developer, uh, the CSS information here is our font families. Uh, I will link this below the video for you so you can go and have a look. Uh, but basically we can put in a family type uh, or if we scroll further down, uh, we can see some of the examples like Times New Roman. And so we enter those into uh, our font family and it will change up. So if we really hate our eyes, maybe we want to see what cursive is going to look like. So we type in cursive, we render it up, and it's a pretty small file. Uh, and there we go, it has flicked over to cursive. Actually, maybe it doesn't look as bad as I thought, and I guess if we're doing the cartoony penguin thing, then maybe something, I mean, it's not quite Comic Sans, but it's uh, maybe a little bit more casual than you used to, but maybe we will change up. Maybe you are writing for a publication. They would like Times New Roman. Change it up. And there we go. We can see that it is flicked over to Times New Roman. So that's how we can change the font for our whole document. Um, just need to make that change. If we were doing a different type of uh, document, so instead of HTML, if we were doing PDF, uh, I believe that it will let you do it exactly the same way. Uh, the other option that I have seen for doing PDF is to specify uh, using font-family instead. Uh, and I'm sure since it is using LaTeX uh, as the basis for those PDFs, you can also you can also use some LaTeX code in there as well if you would like. But I think that's probably a little bit harder and also a little bit more advanced really here. We were just looking at how can we change our main font and just by adding main font and that name there. Hopefully this was helpful. I will be doing a few Cordo videos uh, and amongst other statistics and our videos. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if this was helpful, hit the like button. If there are other videos or information you would be interested in, put a comment below the video.